Happy Fun Fact Friday, you guys. Welcome back to the Needy Home Center channel where every Friday I share with you one of my favorite tools that I use in my kitchen or around my house. And uh, today we got a lot going on. So I'm gonna actually share with you something relatively new that I have. I bought it, a, uh, what was it, babe, two weeks ago? I think it was like two weeks ago and I am loving them. So without further ado, I'm gonna spin you so sorry about the weird shadows, but you know it gets dark at like four o'clock in the afternoon now. <laughs> So you guys, you know I use my Pullman pan to make fresh bread for my family, uh, for our sandwiches, and the problem that I have with the Pullman pan, this is the 13 inch by the way, this is the one that I use, I'll leave a link to it down below for you guys, is storing the bread. Um, I have tried different plastic containers, I have tried plastic bags, that's what I usually use, and usually I have to put a bag one half this way the other half this way where they meet in the middle and we pretty much have to eat the bread um i would say within what two days babe by third day it's pretty stale so um or it's moist because it's in a plastic bag well i found on amazon the actual name brand lock and lock um the lock and lock bread storage container for the 13 inch Pullman pan. You guys, this is a game changer. <laughs> I'm so excited about this, look at this. Now, when I bought it, I was like, okay, I don't know if it's actually gonna work. It looks like it's gonna work, but you're never gonna know until you bake bread, right? Well, I baked bread and you guys, it fits this Pullman pan bread perfectly in a lock and lock. So here we have it. Now this is the bread that I made for my family. Um, I went ahead and pre-sliced it for them. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This bread now has been in here for five days and it is still, <laughs> let's see if we can get you in the light. There we go. It is still soft. Yeah. It is, the, the crust is not hard. <laughs> it is. It's like a bite. <laughs> It's not stale. It is keeping the bread beautiful. I am so impressed by this. It also comes with the little slide here. Now it does have, you'll see at the bottom here, it's got a little plastic thing. So what you do is you just tuck that under your bread, okay? And so it butts up against the bread really tight and it keeps this slice fresh. I mean, it's, it's not dry at all, you guys. This is a mommy game changer, and I am in love with this container. So I went ahead and I, I ordered one to test it out. And after I tested it out, I jumped back online and I ordered a second one because, quite frankly, you can't go wrong with two. So I only have one of these uh, Pullman pans, but I... Um, I have other pans, right? So I tried just a regular loaf pan. You can get one and a half loaves in here. So, which it was perfect because I also baked two loaves of uh, cinnamon raisin bread. I was able to store one whole loaf in here and then um, I toasted up a couple of slices for the kids and I was able to store the other half. You could use this for bread rolls. I mean, you could use this for anything, but the fact that this fits the Pullman pan, the 13 inch Pullman, pan it's just it's a game changer for me so lock and lock let me put you down here and hopefully you can see that um, the lock and lock is super easy to uh, press together I don't know uh, how many of you have used the name brand lock and lock but they're really nice I think you can get these on QVC super nice and I am in love with these so I had to share them with you <laughs> because if you bake in the Pullman bread pan um, you need one of these in fact I think you need two so I'm gonna leave a link uh, to my bread pan uh, along with the container down below I'm also gonna leave you a link to this really cool book that uh, I just got so I haven't had a chance to read it yet it actually just came in the mail you know I was looking for deep depression cooking books um, and you know how like Amazon when you go on there you kind of just you know they they um, suggest other books to you and so then you click the other book and then you click another book and then you click another book and somehow I landed on books by Barbara Swell cute little book they're not very big they're pretty thin okay uh, 70 let's see 72 pages but inside not only are there recipes but there are little stories 
about, you know, do I say the olden days? The olden days. So this one that I got, there was a, several of them, and I want to go back now that I actually have this and order a couple more. There's a log cabin cooking. I think that one comes from with recipes from the 1800s. I want to say 1700s and 1800s. There's an old farmhouse one with 1800s to early 1900s. Um, there's a pie book for old uh, pies. There's several of them. She's got quite a few in her collection. And um, here she is right here. And these are the recipes that are in this book. So we've got rustic farmhouse bread, wild yeast bread, overnight unneeded bread, honey cornmeal bread, orange currant rye, apple brown bread, Boston brown bread. We've got uh, whole grain gems, caramelized onion baileys, that sounds so good, cinnamon butter monkey bread, popovers, English muffins, buttermilk rolls, and thirded breads. So I am, and then uh, along with the history of the 19th century American bread, this is great for homeschooling too. You know what I'm saying? Like you could teach your children about bread and then break bake bread together. So keep that in mind too for all you homeschooling mamas out there like me. Uh, turning your oven into an old time hearth. How to buy and care for antique iron pans, bread baking and cast iron pots, campfire and fireplace cooking, the old time uh, grist mill, baking with local flour, and how to set a sponge. So I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna like curl up with a with a blanket on my big comfy cozy chair in my bedroom tonight, um, maybe with a, a hot cup of tea and um, read through this. So super excited about this. So I'll leave a link to this down below as well, but I wanna pick up a couple of the other ones. Um, so uh, I'm filming this early, it's actually Wednesday night. I'm gonna get this up uh, for the VIPs tomorrow, but tomorrow we are painting the kitchen and I'm so excited. We ended up choosing this color, it's called Creamy Mushroom. We're getting rid of the yellow. Oh, it's just so yellow. <laughs> So I, I I love the I love the yellow. I mean it's a pretty color, don't get me wrong, but it's just so bright. So um so that's the color that we're going with, this creamy mushroom color. So tomorrow you guys probably won't see me around because I'll be covered in paint. Uh tonight we are having um a pork roast with uh Yukon Golds, sweet potatoes, carrots, onions. And so this is what I'm serving up for dinner tonight. And, um, but I wanted to share these things with you early so that I had the videos up just in case, just in case I go MIA from, uh, from painting. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you check these out. If you have a Pullman pan, girls, you need this. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know. I will try to answer them down below for you and I will be seeing you guys soon. All right, take care, guys.